millions of people outside of India laughed at Tyler Oliveira's Poop Festival YouTube video, which, as you know, depicted him going to the region of Karnataka in South India and participating in a festival involving a lot of cow dung collected over six months and thrown around in innocent, pious fun uh, during a yearly religious festival that marks the victory of Ramachandra, the king avatar of Krishna. But you know what? A lot of Indian Hindus didn't laugh. And you know why they didn't laugh? Because according to them, that so-called cow poop, that cow dung, is not ordinary excrement like dog poop or cat poop or even human poop, which is clearly toxic. According to them, that cow dung actually has incredible medicinal properties. It stands in a unique one-of-its-kind category. So who's right? That YouTuber or 3,000 years of Ayurvedic medicine as well as contemporary peer-reviewed scientific journals? Tyler was called a racist. So what did he do? That got so many people angry. In what way was he disrespectful? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. As you saw in the video, the locals there believed that their local deity, namely Veera Bhadra Swami, which is a form of Lord Shiva, manifested or appeared from some cow dung some time back. By the way, divine apparitions are not something new either in India, in Asia, or in the West. They're quite common, actually. Whether it's the Virgin Mary appearing to a child, or uh, a deity of Krishna, or Vishnu, or Shiva, uh, as in this case, revealed in a forest or under the ground, or why not, in some cow dung, this phenomenon of apparitions has always been part of human experience. And by the way, if you're interested in the term Hinduism, I suggest you may want to watch this video here in which I explain the history, the problems with that term Hinduism. Now, look at these kids and these grown men throwing cow dung at each other. Do you actually believe that any sane human being would do that if it were even remotely dangerous? And that brings me to Tyler's behavior. What am I talking about? His offensive way of dressing for the occasion. The way he dressed for the occasion was totally inappropriate. Think about it. He's in a foreign country, surrounded by people who, as he himself admits, were incredibly kind and hospitable. They're all bare-chested, simple, joyful. And how does he show up? In a full-body plastic suit, the kind you see at, at nuclear plants or something. Give me a break, man. How proud can you be? I noticed a clear change of mood in the way the locals treated him. The day before the festival... When he's dressed like a normal traveler, everyone's smiling, everyone's nice. But on the actual day, he walks in wearing that anti-radiation suit and you can see their faces change. I would have been offended too. Imagine what they must have been thinking. Seriously? We invite you into our village, we treat you with respect, and you show up dressed like we're contaminated? You insult us by implying we're stupid or dirty, that we don't understand what's safe for our own bodies and for our own children. And yet, in spite of his nonverbal arrogance, those villagers still gave him the benefit of the doubt. Now, that's noble. That's cool. Now, in classical Ayurveda, the Ayurvedic medicine system of ancient India, the cow gives five precious gifts. It's dung, it's yogurt, it's butter, it's ghee, it's milk. And those five items are used in all types of medicinal uh, procedures and recipes and so on. It's used for purification, disinfection, uh, soil enrichment. Uh, people make cow dung soap and toothpaste and, and floor disinfectant. And the logic is empirical. When dung dries, for example, it becomes alkaline. Its smoke repels insects. Its compost revives the earth. And I've seen it. I've been going to India for 32 years, okay? And although there's a lot of things about India and, and some Indians that I really don't like, because, you know, I'm very happy being culturally, culturally Christian, culturally white, culturally European. Um, we're talking about something totally different here. We're not talking about the kind of racism you see from Indians towards non-Indians. Like, for example, this crazy, crazy idea that in some temples, unless you're born in India, unless you have brown skin, you can't enter the temple. I've seen it. I've been a victim of that type of discrimination. I'm not talking about that. Although you can see in the West, like, for example, in Notre Dame in Paris, 
they don't think like that. Like whatever country you're from, whatever skin color your skin is, whatever your heritage is, hey, this building is the house of God and you're his child no matter what your background and you're allowed in. So trust me, I'm not gobbling up everything Indian uh, just because I practice Krishna consciousness or bhakti yoga. Having said that, though, this is different. There's scientific research backing it up. Listen to this. In 2020, Gupta and Rana, writing in Biotechnology Reports, found that a bacterial strain from cow dung produced bioactive compounds that kill Staphylococcus aureus and Baculus septalis. In 2015, Randawa and Sharma, in the Journal of Intercultural Ethnopharmacology, showed that cow urine has antimicrobial and chemotherapeutical potential, even against drug, the drug-resistant E. coli. In 2024, Pant and colleagues, publishing in Evidence-Based Complementary and Alternative Medicine, proved that cow urine distillate inhibits bacterial growth at laboratory concentrations as low as 12 micrograms per milliliter. These are just three examples. There's more than 20 peer-reviewed articles that say basically the same thing, okay? The locals, they claim that nobody gets skin disease. What to speak of, you know, having to go to the hospital. You think these people are so stupid? You think they're so dumb? Does Tyler think they're so stupid that if they were doing something dangerous, they would, you know, continue doing it? Duh, human beings are not that dumb. Self-preservation is an instinct among everybody. So the fact that they're still doing this festival year after year after year, that should like make you think, oh, do I really need to dress up in a goddamn nuclear, you know, plastic suit when all these other human beings just like me are bare chested? Hello? The meatheads, that's how I call them, the meatheads over at Twitter and other places, you know, they laugh and they laugh, but they're the actual barbarians. Say what you want about the festival, okay? But these facts remain. The use of cow dung and cow urine for healing, for cooking, for cleansing, for medicinal purposes has been part of civilization for millennia. Maybe next year Tyler can go back there and have the courage and the balls to actually take his shirt off. What do you think? Speaking of courage, we all need the courage to stand up against physicalism and materialism. That poison that is teaching us and our children that consciousness is just and only a product of the brain. That's been fed to us through all types of mediums, including, you know, governments funded universities and Hollywood. And I made a video on that, the influence of of materialism and physicalism in our Hollywood movies. So if you're interested in watching that, I suggest you go watch this video now. Thank you very much.